Hello everyone. Welcome to our new video. Our Google Ads series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay. So in today's lecture, you will see how to create a complete search ads project for an insurance service. So without further ado, let's get it started. So we'll be using this landing page for creating ads. I have researched all the necessary informations from this landing page so that I can put them in my ads and my ads get more relevant to this landing page. And you have already known that if my ads get more relevancy, then I will get a good quality score. And if my quality score is good, then my ad ranks will be high and my ad cost will be low, you know. And if my ad ranks well, then I will be able to get a good amount of return on ad spend after running the ad. So hopefully you have understood what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to advertise for this specific service called home insurance. You can see over here, we have multiple services available here, but for now, I will be advertising for this service. Okay. So I have researched all the necessary keywords for this service. You can see over here, home insurance code, home insurance companies, cheap home insurance, farmers home insurance, home insurance agency, landlord home insurance. So, and I have also written all the ad copies like headlines and description so that I can make the ads easily. And I will be creating three ads in one ad group. So uh, inside three ads, one of them will be dynamic keyword insertion. So I have also written all the dynamic keyword insertion ads, okay? And I have also researched all the ad extension or assets like call assets, site link assets, call out assets and structured snippet assets. So everything is done. And I have also set up conversion tracking properly so that I can track the uh, performance of the campaigns. I, I can track the value or conversions, you know. So if I try to show you, then I need to go to the tools and settings option and I will click on conversion. Okay. Let's wait a little bit. So if I scroll down a little bit, you can see over here, submit lead form is one of our conversions. So if I go to the contact us page from my landing page, then you will see a form available here. So whenever a user submit this form, I want to track this as a conversion. So that's what I did over here. And as a phone call lead conversion, I have set up two conversions, one for call from ads conversion. So we'll be using call assets. So after using the call assets, when a user call to our business, I want to track this as a call from ads conversion. And the second one is phone calls to a website. So if I go to my website, you will see a phone number available here. So when a user come to our website after seeing my ads and call to this phone number from our website, then I want to track this as a phone calls to a website conversion. Okay. So conversion tracking has been set up properly. So let's create a new campaign. Okay. So for creating new campaign, I need, just need to click on this blue button called new campaign. Just wait a little bit. So they are uh, telling us to choose the campaign objective. So as you already known that my campaign goals or objectives should be leads. Okay. So I'm going to select leads from here. And as the conversion goals, I'm going to select phone call leads and submit leads from. So other than these two, I'm going to remove all the conversion actions. So I will remove add to basket. I will remove purchases from the conversion goal. So those two are selected as conversion goals. I'm going to click on continue and I need to select a campaign type. So we have different types of campaign types available here, like search, performance, max, display, shopping, videos, display. But for now, 
I'm going to choose search. Okay. Then you can put your website URL by clicking this website visit check mark. Okay. I have to name my campaign. So I'm going to give a meaningful name here like auto insurance. And my campaign objective is leads. Perfect. Then I am going to click on continue and I will click on start new. So we are in the bidding phase. So if I click on this checkbox, then we can see we have four bidding strategies available here initially. Conversions, conversion value, clicks, impression share. So, uh, you know, initially we cannot use conversions and conversion value as this is our new campaign so we don't have enough data to track conversion uh, so for now i'll be using clicks and whenever i have 25 to 30 conversions in my account then i'm gonna select conversions or conversion value as the bidding strategy okay so for now i'm gonna cl uh, select clicks okay so you can uh, enable this check mark if you want to set a maximum cost per click bid limit. Okay, so I will not be selecting this. I'm going to click on next. And in the network portion, uh, I'm going to deselect both of the uh, network. Okay, like Google search partner and Google display partner. If you want, you can select both of them. Okay, so I'm going to deselect both of them. And in the location options, I'm going to enter the location as United States because I want to advertise my services to the US market. Okay, so I'm going to target United States and from the location option, I'm going to choose the second one called presence people in or regularly in your targeted location. Okay, and in the language settings, you can customize the languages from here as per your requirement. So I'll be selecting English and in the audience segments option, you can uh, customize the audience in different segments, okay? Uh, for me, I don't basically use audience segments in search set. If you want, you can use it. So for using it, I need to click on browse section, then you can segment the audience by detailed demographic, affinity in market your data segment and combined segment so you can go through these options and set up your audience according to your requirement okay so i'll click on more settings and in the ad rotation settings i will keep it as optimized prefer best performing ads and start and end dates i'm not gonna select any end dates from here and in the ad schedule option, I'm going to schedule the ads from Monday to Fridays, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I'm going to choose 9 a.m. from here and 6 p.m. from here. Okay. So I'm going to choose 6 p.m. from here. So perfect. Then I will click on more settings again. And uh, if you want, you can set up campaign URL, okay? So I have a detailed video on it, how to set up campaign URL. So if you haven't watched the video yet, I would suggest you to watch this video and set up campaign URL. I'll not be selecting campaign URL because I want to track it via UTM tracking, okay? So I'll click on next. And we're in the ad group section. So I will name that group as home insurance. So I'm going to copy this name from here and click on this pencil button for renaming the ad group. Okay. So I'm going to name it as Home Insurance Press. I will create two ad groups in one campaign. One with, will be with press mass and other one will be with the exact mass and i want to try get the same keywords in both ad groups okay so i need to enter the keywords here so before entering the keywords i need to wrap them okay so for wrapping them 
I'll write Edward Rapper. So I need to put those keywords here and click on wrap keywords. Okay. So if I scroll down a little bit, then I will get the phrase match versions of those keywords. I'm going to copy them from here and put them in the ad groups. Okay. Perfect. Then I am in the ad section. So the first option I can see over here is final URL. So I need to put the final URL. So I'm going to go to my landing page. I'll copy it from here. As I already told you that I'm going to track the URL using UTM tracking. So I'm going to write campaign URL builder. Then I'm going to put the URL over here. And if you want, you can give the campaign ID name and campaign source as Google, campaign medium as CPC, campaign name as auto insurance. Insurance lead campaign. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to copy this URL from here. If you want, you can shorten the link by clicking on this button. So I'm going to copy this URL from here and paste it in the final URL section. So well, you might ask me a question why I'm using this campaign URL builder URL because I want to track Google Ads data and I want to see the performance of my Google Ads in Google Analytics 4 dashboard. You know, which campaign is performing well, which campaign is generating more leads, this sort of stuff, you know so that I can take further decision. So hopefully you have understood. So in the display path, I'm going to mention my main service keyword like home insurance. So I'm going to copy home from here and give as display path one and I'm going to copy insurance and give it on the display path two. So you can see over here home insurance okay perfect so they are suggesting to use a call assets you can see over here because you selected phone call as a campaign goal add a call assets to use with your ads so i'm gonna click on calls for creating uh, call assets so i have already researched a call asset so i'm gonna copy this phone number from here and I'm going to enter this phone number over here. So as the country, you can choose the country as per your requirements, but I'll be uh, happy with targeting USA. So I'm going to put my phone number over here. And as the conversion actions, I'm going to choose call from ads. Okay. So you can see how uh, it will preview. So user can see our call assets like this. Okay. So I'll click on save and i'm gonna click on apply then i need to write the ads okay so before writing the ads i would suggest you to use all the headlines and all the descriptions like 15 headlines and four descriptions so that google can optimize your ads properly you know so i have already written all the headlines and descriptions so i'm gonna use them uh, first headline I'm going to use my brand name or service name Porto insurance. So I'm going to use this as headline one and it, as headline two I'm going to mention this one looking for home insurance. Okay, so this will be used as headline two and at the headline three I'm going to use the CTA get instant quote. So this will be used as third headline. And as the fourth headline, I'm going to mention number one, home insurance agency. Perfect. Then I'm going to using this one. So this is one of our keywords, landlord home insurance. So I'm going to mention it over here. Next one, I'm going to be using save up to 20 percent so you can use those sort of terms if you have some offers you can mention it over in your headline okay call us now one of the cts of our services okay i'm gonna mention it over here 
34 years in the business. So one of the value added features of our services, I'm gonna mention it over here. 400 plus happy customers, some social proofs. I'm gonna mention it over here. 50 plus insurance offices. So this is also a social proofs of our service. Home insurance court. So this is one of the keywords I'm gonna mention over here. Next one, get insurance online. So one of the call to actions. Next one, I'll be using top home insurance company. Perfect. Next one, I'm gonna use a keyword, cheap home insurance. And the last headline I'm gonna use, this is also one of our keywords, farmers home insurance. So I'm gonna mention it over here, okay? Oh, perfect. Then I'm gonna use more descriptions as well. So I'll use it from here. Get insurance online and save up to 20% at Toto Insurance. Call us now. So this will be used in the description one. And I'm going to use this one as description two. So I'm going to mention it over here. And as the third description, I'm going to use this one. Protect yourself and your investment. Stand insurance built for landlords okay so i'm gonna copy it from here and i'm gonna paste it over here okay perfect and the last head uh, description i'm gonna use this one so i'll copy it from here and i'm gonna paste it over here so you can see over here my ad strength is excellent so that should be our goal, create multiple ads with the strength of excellent or good. So you can see over here how my ads will preview auto insurance, 35 years in the business, cheap home insurance, okay? So it will be rotating. Google will rotate them to get the best performance, to give you the best performance, you know? So I will click on site links because I need to create some uh, add assets or add extensions so that I can get a good amount of CTR, you know. So I'll click on new site link. Then I have already researched or written some site link assets. So as the site link one text, I'm going to use this text called life insurance. So I'm going to mention it in the site link text and in the description one, I'm going to use this one, save up to 20% 20, uh, 20 on. And in the description two, I'm going to mention life insurance. So save up to 20% on life insurance. And as the final URL, I'm going to mention this final URL page this landing page, life insurance service landing page and use it on the final URL section. And as the site link to text, I'm gonna mention this one, find an agent. Put it in the site link text and description line one. I'm gonna mention this one, find a Porto insur uh, insurance agent. So this will be used as so I need to write find, okay? Find a Porto insurance agent and description line two near you today. So the complete sentence would be find a Porto insurance agent near you today. And as the final URL, I'm gonna mention this find an agent landing page URL. So I'm gonna copy it from here and I'm going to paste it over here. And as the site link three text, I'm going to mention it as about us. 
So I'm going to copy about us from here and paste it in the site link three text. And as the description one, I'm going to mention Porto has been insuring homeowners. So I'm going to copy it from here and description line two, I'm going to mention for over 35 years. Okay, perfect. Then as the final URL, I'm going to mention this about space URL over here okay and as the site link for text I'm going to mention contact us well con may I copy contact us from here and paste it over here and as the description line one I'm going to mention get affordable insurance online so I'm going to put it over here and then I will use call us now as description line two perfect and as the final url i'm gonna mention this one this contact us page url from here and use it over here so you can see how they will look like so this is for the mobile version you can see over here life insurance find an agent about us contact us and if i click on this arrow then it will this version is for desktop you can see over here so i'll use four site link assets if you want you can use more so i'll click on save and i'm gonna click on apply okay perfect then i need to click uh, create some call out assets so i have already written some call outs assets you can see over here so for creating new callout assets, I need to scroll down a little bit and click on new callout. So as the first callout text, I'm going to mention 35 years in the business. Okay, so I'll use it over here. And as the second callout text, I'm going to mention 400 plus happy customers. next one i'm gonna use 50 plus insurance offices and the last uh, call out text i'm gonna use 100 plus insurance agencies because i want to use four out four call out assets so if you want you can use more so how they will look like you can see over here okay so i'm gonna click on save and click on apply okay perfect so i'll use structure snippet assets so i'll click on structure snippets and i have already researched some structure snippets you can see over here so for creating new structure snippet i need to click on new structure snippets so as the header language i'll keep it as english and select header type i'm going to choose uh, insurance coverage you can choose this one okay so i'm gonna mention home insurance or you can uh, use service catalog as well if you want okay from this there okay i'm gonna mention home insurance life insurance and the last structure snippet i'm gonna use car insurance okay Perfect. So if you want, you can create more structure snippet by clicking on this add value button. Okay. So how they will look like you can see over here. So this is for the mobile version. And if I click on this arrow, so this is for the desktop version. Okay. Perfect. So I'll click on save. And I'm going to click on apply. So I'll click on done and i will click on next okay then i need to give a budget so my daily budget would be hundred dollar so i'm gonna put hundred dollar over here so you can customize the budget as per your requirements so i'm gonna click on next then they will check 
whether my campaign has some errors or not. So it will be done momentarily. So you can see over here, other than billings, I don't have any errors because I didn't set up billing. So if you set up your billings, then you will not have this sort of issues, okay? So you can overview the campaign from here. Like if you want, you can change the campaign name, campaign types, objectives, goals, bidings. In the campaign settings, you can uh, re overview or review uh, networks, locations, languages, audience, keywords, ads, and budgets. So if everything is okay, then you can click on this button called publish campaign. So this one is appearing because I didn't set up billings. So if you set up billings properly, then this sort of pop-up will not appear. Okay, so I'll click on publish. So it is publishing the campaign. You can see over here, Google is reviewing our campaign. So within one or two days, it will be live if everything is perfect. Okay. So I will go to the ad sections because I want to create multiple ads to see which one is performing well. And on the basis of performance, I will keep those ads running and those are performing well and pause those ads those will not perform well, you know. So uh, in each ad groups, I want to create three ads, you know. So this is our one ad and I want to create another two ads. And inside one ad, I want to pin some headlines and descriptions. And in other ads, I want to use dynamic keyword insertion. So Let's create another two ads. So for creating a new ads, I just need to copy this existing one. So I'll copy this ads by clicking on this edit button and go to and click on copy. And for pasting it, I need to go to the edit section again and click on paste. Okay. So I need to choose my campaign like auto insurance and I need to choose the ad group as well. So I'll click on done. Then I will enable those check marks and click on paste so it is copying a new ads it might take some time so please have some patience it will be done momentarily okay so it is done i'm gonna create another ad so as it already copied, so I just need to paste. I will select the campaign and I will select the ad group as well. So I'll click on done and enable those check marks. So I'll click on paste. So I'm gonna make this campaign uh, ads enable. Okay. So it will be done momentarily. Let's wait a little bit. Yeah, done. So first thing I need to do is I need to edit these ads. First of all, I will edit this one and then I will edit this one, okay? So I'll click on edit. And in these ads, I'm gonna pin some headlines and descriptions, okay? So other than pinning headlines and description, I will not make any changes in the ads. So this is our brand name. So I'm gonna uh, use this as at the position number one, okay? And I'm gonna mention all the keywords at the position number two and all the USPs, uh, benefits, features, call to actions, social proofs at the position number three. So looking for home insurance at the position number two, get a stand quote at the position number three. Number one, home insurance agency at the position number two, landlord home insurance position number two, save up to 20% at the position number three. Call us now at the position number three, 34 years in the business position number three, 400 plus happy customer at the position number three, 50 plus insurance offices at the position number three 
home insurance court at the position number two, get insurance online at the position number two, sorry, at the position number three, top home insurance agency, position number two, cheap home insurance, position number two, farmer's home insurance, position number two. And I'm gonna pin the headline. This one will be used at the position number one. I'll use this one at the position number two. I'm gonna use this one at the position number one and this one at the position number two. So all the ad assets, I'll, rem I'll remain them as same as the previous ads. So I'm gonna click on save ad. Okay. So I'll edit the third ad right now. So I'll make this ad enable, first of all. Then I'll click on this pencil button for editing. So inside these ads, I'm gonna use dynamic keyword insertion. So I have a detailed video on it. What is dynamic keyword insertion and how does it work? If you haven't watched the video, I would suggest you watch this video first and learn more about dynamic keyword insertion. Okay. So at the position number two, I'm gonna use dynamic keyword insertion. And this is our brand name. I'm gonna position it as the position number one. And at the position number two, I'm gonna use dynamic keyword insertion. So I'll uh, click on shift then curly braces then i will see an option called keyword insertion so first of all i need to give a dynamic keyword insertion text default text so i will name this text add home insurance agency okay so i'll click on apply then i will position it at two and in the third position i'm going to mention all the usps benefits features social proofs call to actions okay so i have written all the ad copies for dynamic ads you, you can see over here so porto insurance at the position number one dynamic keyword insertion as the position number two and all the CTS benefits, USB features, I'm going to mention at the position number three. So looking for home insurance, this will be used at the position number three. Then get stand quote. I'm going to mention this at position number three. Save up to 20%. At the position number so this one is already available here so i'm going to mention it at the position number three call us now at the position number three 34 35 years in the business so this is already available in our ads so i'm gonna mention it as the position number three this one will be used at the position number three this one will also be used at the position number three okay get insurance online i'm gonna use this as the headline and i'm gonna mention this at the position number three okay Then I'm going to use contact us. I'm going to mention it at the position number three. Then I'll be using 100 plus insurance agencies. So I'm going to mention it over here and, and to position it at number three. Then I'm going to use subscribe to newsletter. So instead of keyword, I'm going to use this one, okay? Because I want to use dynamic keyword insertion. I'm going to copy view insurance from here. 
and paste it over here and the last text i'm gonna use affordable insurance online so i'm gonna copy it from here and paste it over here and position them at the number three position so if i go to the preview mode then you can see over here auto insurance so i have positioned it at the position number one so this will always be appearing at the position number one proto insurance then uh, the number two position it will be visible what user is searching okay so i have used some of the keywords in my ad groups so whenever a user searching uh, on google related to these keywords then this will be appearing in our headlines and description that is what dynamic keyword insertion is all about you know and at the position number three i have used all the call to actions usps benefits features you know so this will be uh, appearing at the position number three you can see over here okay so other than changing or editing dynamic keyword insertion i will not change any add assets or add extension because i want to use them as same as in the previous ads okay so i'll click on save so currently we are running three ads so let's run them for the next 30 days and inside 30 days we will definitely get a winner and uh, inside 30 days we will definitely get a lower performing ads as well then we will create new ads and pause this low performing ads and it would be a continual process you know so i need to go to the ad group sections because i want to create two ad groups so currently we have created only one ad group so for creating a new ad group i just need to copy this existing one so i'll go to the edit section and i will click on copy and for pasting i will go to the edit section again and click on paste okay then i need to select the campaign photo insurance i need to select the ad groups as well so i'll click on done and i'll enable this check mark and click on paste so it is copying a new ad group so it may take some time for copying it so please have some patience it will be done momentarily okay so you can see over here still updating this can take a few minutes as i already told you it is almost done so it is finished you can see over here so first of all i will enable this ad group and i will name it as home insurance exact so i'm gonna click on save and i will go to this ad groups and the first thing i need to do is to change the mesh types okay so i am going to select all the keywords from here okay perfect then i will click on edit button and if i scroll down a little bit then i will see an option called change mesh types so i'll click on change all mesh types then we can see all the mesh types like broad mesh exact mesh and phrase mesh are available here so for now I will be choosing exact mesh from here and I will click on apply. So you will see all the mesh types will be in exact mesh momentarily. Okay. So you can see over here all the mesh types are in exact mesh right now. Okay. So if I go to the ads section, then we'll see three ads are running. Okay. In exact mesh ad groups as well so perfect then if i go to the ad section sorry if i uh, select the campaigns then we need to select our campaign called photo insurance then we'll be able to see we are running two ad groups and if i go to the ad section 
then we'll see six ad ads are running so three for exact mass and three for phrase mass okay so perfect so that's that's it for this video hopefully you have a clear understanding on how we can create a complete search ads project for an insurance service so if you like our video you can subscribe our channel follow our page yeah you have a good day bye bye